What's up, everybody? This is Joe, aka I am the dentist, and I am bringing you some 4v, well, 4v3 MLG variant action because this team that we're playing is, um, they're douchebags. I'm just gonna say that they're douchebags and they're cheaters, and that's kind of what I what, what I want to talk about on this video. This the topic of this video is gonna be the bad side of game battles and by bad side i don't mean bad side of the map i mean just the the worst people in game battles that you're going to run into and i feel like you know we're intro to competitive gaming type channel you know we're trying to show you guys the tips tricks strategies stuff that we're learning along the way as we make our you know foray into competitive gaming and just try to share with you guys what we're learning well at the same time i don't want to stay away from the negative stuff i also want to talk about that as well because it's stuff that you guys need to be prepared for when you enter into game battles so this is uh, this is a later match we've played. This is our 4v4 team, by the way. This uh, me, Just Reckless, a uh, friend of mine, Ether, who's good, good player, good guy, and Midget King. So I'm sure you guys know Midget King. He was on the new breed with Holiday Doc. He's played at some MLG events. He played at MLG Columbus with uh, Team Hybrid, still his kills his team. And he played at MLG Anaheim with seven men. So, you know, he's got talent. He's a great player, good guy, one of my uh, good friends online. I really, really enjoy hanging out with him as much as he, uh, Likes to talk shit to me all the time me. with his little redheaded ass. So anyway, <laughs> that being said, um, these guys showed up late. So how this works, if you guys don't know anything about game battles or you've never done it, how this works is when you accept a match or your match gets accepted, the team with the higher higher rank hosts the first map. So basically you have 15 minutes until the, af until the game was supposed to start. So if it was supposed to start at 10 o'clock, you have until 10.15 to invite the other team. And vice versa if they have the higher rank. These guys show up late. They show up about five minutes after that 15 minute grace period. And they only have three players. So we're like, ugh. And, you know, we scouted this team out when, when they accepted the match. We're looking, I'm like, oh, man, they were 25-2 and two in summer. They're currently in the playoffs. This is going to be a good game. We're going to learn something from this game. We're either going to, you know, get our butts kicked or we're going to have a really good game. So turns out that they're just a bunch of cheaters. So they show up, and I'm going to talk about that, and I, I feel completely confident saying that, and I don't like to badmouth people. I'm, I'm a respectful guy. I'm a respectful player, and I like to uh, be a sportsman, you know, show sportsmanship when it comes to anything competitive, whether it's gaming or sports or, or whatever. So we get into this game, and immediately, uh, shortly after we get in, Midget starts lagging. And this is our host, by the way. So... Ether hosts all the games for us. We've never had an issue with this host one time. We've played 16 matches now, um, by the way. I think we're like 10 and 6. And we've oh, we've only lost again. two, legitly lost, I should say, because we have a couple dispute losses in there because of crap like this. But we've only legitly lost two games. One was to a team that I believe was 9 and 1. And the other was to oh, a team that last night when I checked was out, in sixth place. <laughs> and we've actually beat them. They beat us once and we beat them once. So we 2 owed them one time they 2 owed us one time. So, you know, our team is, is decent. We're, pre we're a pretty decent team. And so we get into this game, 4v3, we're going, okay, this is, we're going to win. Um, it's, it's not going to, I mean, it's hard to win 4v4, much less 4v3, especially against three good players. See me starting to lag right there? Hmm, kind of funny, huh? So... Anyway, these guys are IP flutters, basically. And what happens is they start IP flooding Midget. And oh, Reckless starts God. getting it. And as you saw, I got a little bit there. And the only reason that I say this with confidence is because we've been on Ether's host. We play on Ether's host every private match because everybody likes his host. We play on it. If we do a scrims, if we just do messes around, if we're playing GBs, we always play on his host. We never have an issue until we start playing these guys. And so Midget... He's going to finish this side 0 and 8. Wow, right? 0 and 8. Zero kills. Zero. We're talking about a guy that has played competitive gaming for multiple years, has been to MLG events, and he's going to get zero kills. Like, come on, that's ridiculous, right? Thing is, is he couldn't kill anybody. He was being IP flooded. And so they end up giving up IP flooding, right? About halfway through the second half, they stop because we. 
get like a three. I think we get three flags on the next round, and they know the game's over. Midget ends up finishing eleven and fifteen. At one point, he's one and eleven in this game. He finishes eleven and fifteen once they stop messing with his connection. So next map, Bill of Search. He can't get in the game. Amazingly, he starts la lagging again. And he can't oh get into the game. God. So the rule is, if you are host, and within the first 30 seconds, if, if someone does not connect to the match, then you have to restart. And if you can't get them to connect, then you have to change hosts. So they just continue playing, right? They just, uh, well, sorry. Um, they just continue playing, don't say anything. Eventually, I get Midget back in. And when I get Midget back in, he's still lagging. So... We end up ended up losing that. Um, you know, at this time we're all just freaking ticked uh, yeah. off, right? Because we know these guys are are garbage. They're not good players. We, I mean, we were smashing on them. We were even at four v three. We they just, I mean, I don't I don't remember any um, point in this match where we really get a one on one gunfight that I'm like just get completely destroyed on. And I, you know, I think we would have beat beat them had they not been cheating, even if they had four guys. So, the okay, last map is Summit Dom. In between the matches, the Villa, the Villa match, and between the, their loading up Summit, we ask for a host switch. We get a new host, right? So, it's still it's still their host because that's how it works. Uh, the, the team that's ranked lower gets to host the last two maps. And so, um, the Summit, they're telling us in between, you know, it's not our fault that your guy couldn't connect. You're supposed to switch teams and tell us. And that's actually not true at all. It's not in the rules whatsoever. And if you switch teams in the middle of the game, then you pretty much forfeit. After the game has started, which is either 30 seconds or the first kill, um, you can't switch teams. You can't, can't go into spectator mode. You can't switch teams. You can't do anything. Uh, you have to play the game out. So basically, they would have been an automatic forfeit for us. So, the next map, we started up again, and Midget can't connect once again. So, before the match, before I spawn in to our side, see that Midget's not getting in, immediately switch teams and say, in the match. They don't do it. They're like, no way, we're not ending it. So, they continue to play the match. Nobody spawns in. Basically, from our team, we just stand there. We're like, really, you're not getting in the match? No. We end up leaving. They invite us back, and they say, um... No, we gotta play second side. I'm like, dude, we're just gonna dispute. It's fine. Um, you guys go ahead and start a ticket. We're gonna start a ticket, and we'll see what happens. So basically, now in GB, unless you're a premium team, which is you have to pay for a membership, which you get like you get benefits. You get like the MLG stream and HD. You get no ads. Um, so basically, I, that's my phone going off. Sorry. Basically, you get some perks, but um, with that, you also get. If you're a premium team, you can get a referee into a match. And if two premium teams play each other, a GB admin actually reviews your game, right? So we're not a premium team, so we have to use the CMRS, which is the Community Match Resolution System. Basically what this is is you can go right now onto Game Battles. You can click onto the Black Ops area, and you can go to Match Resolution, and you can start voting on disputes. Basically, you start a ticket, you put proof in your ticket, explain what happened during the dispute, the reason you're disputing, and then you leave it up to the community to decide. Well, this is the biggest pile of crap ever because people don't take it seriously. They don't look at the proof. Um, they don't look at things um, close enough. And, I mean, I, I started doing it just because I wanted to see what kind of stuff was on there. There are people that Photoshop screenshots to make it look like they win, which is unbelievably ridiculous to me. There are people that will dispute a 1v1 and post 2v2 gameplay. Um, they'll, they'll post music videos from YouTube and win disputes like that. It's freaking crazy to me, right? So I started doing it, and I see all this stuff going on, and I'm going, man. So we end up losing this dispute, right? I post everything that I have. I post not connecting. I post them not ending the match. I post showing Midget not getting into the match. And nope, we lose the dispute. So I'm looking on you know the support side of things, and everything is final. If, if CMRS decides it's over, you lose. Nice shooting, by the way. <laughs> um, that's it. If they decide you lose, you lose, right? It's over. So... Basically, um, you know, I started looking at the forums and I see people talking about CMRS and I see people saying, oh, I just vote with the team with the cooler name or I just vote who, whoever's ranked higher. And basically, 
you get a loss for stuff like that. And I, I don't care. I, I mean, I don't care that we lost. I care that we lost because they cheated. That's what that's what I care. I, if I get beat, I get beat. I have no qualms about getting beat. If you're better than our team, you're better than our team. You deserve the win. If if we beat you, report that you lost. But instead, people dispute for no reason because there's basically a coin flip chance that you could still win. Unless you basically say, I did not win this match, there's a chance that you could win the match from the CMRS. So basically my advice for you guys is if you're going to do this and make it a full-time thing, go ahead and get premium because it's going to save you. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the little rant, but I just want to give you guys a heads up. Talk to you on the next one. Later.